AIA and welcome to IPASS Auto IA Show where we walk you through how to become a successful independent adjuster by starting, diversifying and increasing your earnings with auto claims. If you're ready, we can get started right now. On today's show, I'd like to walk you through why you're not gonna make it as a catastrophic adjuster. Kinda like this petting zoo here. It never had a shot, why? I wanna tell you why you don't have a shot and how you can turn the tables on your fortunes and have a great shot at a great career as an independent adjuster. For all the best tips, tricks, and tools, head on over to Adjuster TV's YouTube channel and click the subscribe button. While you're there, don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll be notified every time we have a new video. So the first thing that's gonna stop you from being a successful catastrophic adjuster is if you don't have any startup cash. Most of us live paycheck to paycheck and having to gather money in the event that we're deployed to a storm is tough. But most adjusters do not do this step. They don't store money away. And when the opportunity comes to travel the country, to be gone for weeks or months out of the year, they don't have the money to float themselves and their household while they're gone. I recommend that you at least have $2,000 in your bank account set aside for your first auto deployment. If you're looking to do property, you should increase that to probably four or $5,000 because it's a more extended time frame between paychecks when you're handling property. The second reason why you're not gonna make it as a catastrophic adjuster is that you have wrong expectations. You expect to make big money as a catastrophic adjuster. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, we all do. But guess what? The reality is most people don't knock it out of the park the first storm. In fact, they're lucky if they get their first storm in their first year as a licensed adjuster. So how do we change those expectations? Your expectations should be that you're going to break even on your first few storms. You heard me right. Unless it's a Harvey, Irma, Sandy, Katrina, you are at the bottom of the pecking order, the bottom of the totem pole, the end of the list, the end of the line. You are not the premier person who's going to get the best storms and the best opportunities. But you need to show up and show off on the storm even if you're not making a ton of money. For me, as a full-time cat auto estimator and adjuster, I made forty to $60,000 a year from cat storms. That was working pretty solid from March to August off and on. Sure, we had downtime, but we were working most of the hail season. I've seen very few people earn over $100,000 as a catastrophic adjuster if they weren't in property. But here's the problem. If you have the time to wait for property, great, but most people wanna start working now, and that's how auto can come into play. If you have right expectations that auto can carry you until your big break in property, then you're properly utilizing and diversifying yourself in this career. Adjust your expectations. Expect that it's gonna take a while to get your big break. That expect that you're gonna make 20, 40, or $60,000 if you have a good year in the catastrophic industry. And make sure you have either a side job or you're working daily auto claims in the meantime while you wait for that storm. So what can you expect if you get deployed to a catastrophic auto storm? You can ex expect to earn $450 to $500 a day. That sounds like great money, but when you're spending up to $100 on hotel, when you're spending money on gas, when you have a separate household spending money at home and you're spending $50 a day in food, you can quickly be going backwards on your income. You need to have right expectations about pay and right expectations about you're gonna, what you're gonna be able to earn and keep. The third reason you're not gonna make it as a catastrophic insurance adjuster is if you're waiting on your golden ticket. 
If you're sitting around thinking opportunity is going to come find you and that you think you're super valuable because you have one or two or even three adjuster licenses, you're wrong. You need to do some things to make yourself more valuable to IA firms. Go get a New York license. Go get more adjuster licenses. Attend conferences and seminars. Do daily collision work so you can build your reputation up as someone who knows how to close claims. Sitting in your living room watching the Weather Channel is not going to make you a catastrophic adjuster or at least not going to make you a working catastrophic adjuster. So get off the couch and go do something to increase your odds of getting deployed. The fourth reason you're not going to make it as a catastrophic adjuster is you won't survive the valleys. This business is feast or famine. You've got to have a part-time job of some kind that's easy to get and easy to quit in between the catastrophic storms. One thing that we suggest at IPATH is to work daily auto and property claims in between storms. Having a diversified career is a great way to sustain yourself throughout these valleys, throughout the feast or famine. You need to have work more often than you're going to get called for catastrophe storms. The fifth and final reason why you're not going to make it as a catastrophic adjuster is if you don't control your expenses. I see many IAs who feel like they're making big money earning $450 or $500 a day or bigger if they're on property storms and they spend their money faster than they're actually earning it. Between your household expenses at home, your travel expenses that you're incurring, and the unexpected things that pop up during a cat storm like replacing a computer, cars breaking down, expensive hotels, you will run out of money so fast. You need to control your expenses. Use things like Priceline Express deals. Eat off the value menu. Try to cook in your hotel room. Do everything you can to control your expenses while you're on a storm so you have money when the storm ends. If you're interested in becoming an independent auto damage appraiser or catastrophic auto adjuster, head on over to ipath.com and click the how to find work button. We have a free video course for you that's going to walk you through all the steps of how to get started as an IA and how to start your IA business. Because how you start is very important. You don't want to have a precarious situation in your IA career. And our video course is going to help walk you through that and give you the best chance of survival. Until next week, thank you so much for watching the Auto IA Show and keep walking your path and claiming your life. Be careful. Look at this thing. This is scary.